This is what we're going to be building today and I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it. At the end of this video, you'll have your very own stables that can fit eight different animals plus four farms on the inside. Now here are all the materials that you're going to be using for this build plus the dimensions. Once you're done looking at all these, let's get going. Each of these pillars is three blocks high and the distance between the outside and inside pillars is three blocks wide. So just keep that in mind as you build. We're gonna go ahead and do the front wall together step by step and then we'll speed up the three that are left. Now that's one thing that makes this build pretty easy is everything is symmetrical. So all these outside walls are the same, all the inside walls are the same and that also goes for the inside decor. Once you do it once, you can do it again even quicker. Hey look, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this video or any of my other videos, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Now that we're done with the outside wall, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the inside, which are all the stables and the food storage for all of the animals. Once again, if you've done one side, you can do all of the other sides because they're the exact same. Follow along with me here as we add the inside entrance walls.
now that we have the bones of the build done, we can go ahead and work on the roof. So just follow along with me here step by step as we do this first section together. Now we're only going this far on the outside and inside of this roof because we're only building this section for now. But when you build this in your world, go ahead and extend them all the way around the build in a square. Now this is what one section of the roof looks like. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish this all the way around the top. But when you're doing it in your world, I suggest that you do it section by section, completing it all the way around the top each time. Here we're going to add just a little bit of decoration to the roof by adding an edge that goes all the way around the inside. And this is what you're gonna have with the roof absolutely complete. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish off the inside. We're gonna be adding some lighting throughout and then in each entrance area, we're gonna add some composters and storage for each of your different types of food. Unless of course you wanna actually plant the same thing throughout, then I guess you'll just have a lot more storage for that. On these barrels, I'm placing a blank frame so I can tell which type of food I put in which entrance area. Now this is only if you're doing multiple types of food on your farm, but if you're doing the same food throughout, you really don't need these frames on the barrels.
With our main build done, we can go ahead and start working on the inside. We're gonna do this by starting off with a path that will actually kind of lay out where our farms are gonna go. As you can see here, each patch of grass that we're gonna be doing our farms on are seven by seven squares. We can finally start on our farms. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is create some signs that show which food is growing in each spot. Now, I know all of us Minecrafters know exactly what all the food looks like as it's growing. This is basically just for looks and I think it's really fun, so just go along with it. Now we need to create some water sources so we can actually plant and then we're going to add a little edging around the plot to spruce it up a little. Also on the inside and outside water sources we're going to place some lanterns because at night this gives a really cool lighting effect on the path itself. Now this may come as a shock to you, but you can go ahead and set up the other three plots the exact same way. Once you're done with that, plant the food that we already labeled on all of these plots. As I said, at the end of this video, you have your very own stable slash farming build. If you guys enjoyed building this as much as I did, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on those notifications so you miss none of our future builds. And until next time, everyone, I'll catch you later.